Uh, another possibility is uh, whoop. Meanwhile, on a related topic, Brian Lee, who's not here, wanted to know if the solution for sending, maintaining the right only mail list for about 200 people. Yeah, for a doctor, which basically his mom organizes dentists in Dallas County. Needs somebody to do it, or he needs to know how to do it. Software. I think she wants to pay a small amount of money to have all the services. Because right now she's like sending two batches to Outlook. Graphic. Graphic. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's answered. I think it was like for something more official. But I'll put it on the desk. You know the person in the channel with the weird name that's the longest that can be in is an alternating series of uppercase and lowercase letters? That's Brian. So. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I guess I probably should mention the IRC. I, I see. I keep before you mention the IRC network here because I haven't changed the SSL report to be standard or made it, it all easier to get into. But I should mention it. It's not like it's even though it's substandard, it's not that hard to get into. Oh. I mean, I connected with. We had a guy. We had a Mozilla developer was using oh, Mac, and he was able to get in. So. Whoa. Once I have the port right, I've got both Pigeon and Empathy can get right in. I feel like it'll come no, in. No, that's the package. You know. There's Josh King who forgot the port, so you just did an MDAP on your server. Oh yeah, there is that. My friend remembered. My friend remembered that it was on my server, so he was like, "I'll port scan it now. Find it." And I don't have that many ports open. I did that at my office once because I could SSH into the VPN, but I so didn't know what IP address my computer was. So I oh my God. <laughs> port scanned everything that I had, which computer had that? port 22 open, and then there were like five, mm -hmm. one at a time, trying to log into all of the other. So and then SSH. Set up a projector in the house. Be done. There we go. Mm -hmm. What do you mean, be done? I, I think I'm going to do this at home. I'm going to get a projector and just shine it on the wall. No more monitor. <laughs> Won't have to worry about reading glasses anymore. It is nice, and you can always increase the scale to a degree well, as, you know, as your brightness allows. Hmm. Or you can just turn off all the other lights around here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, this is a pretty nice uh, monitor. Or it's a nice projector. Yeah, it's very clear. Oh. It wasn't cheap to take it out. Oh. <laughs> okay, this I was looking at this one, graphic mail. Uh, 995, but that's not very many. That sounds like the one that you you use to send like violent images to people. Violent images? Uh, like threat mail. <laughs> threat that's that's what you should call yours, Pete. Threat mail. Threat you start your phone for your campaign mail and you can threaten people to vote for you. Well, That's no. probably not illegal. No, they, I don't think it would. I don't think it would play. Don't think you're going to blow up a puppy. <laughs> 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 I'm going to force the baby. No, but when, then what you do is you advertise for your competitor. Oh <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. I, yes. What's his name? He's going <laughs> to blow up a puppy. Yeah, that'll get it. Yeah. And and this is. I know this is illegal. You're not allowed to represent people that aren't yourself. Because we had this discussion before when running the election. Topic. However. There's not to say that randomly a company in Nigeria does this completely against your knowledge. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Using three levels of intermediaries uh, starting in the Cayman Islands. Uh, Jimmy, yeah. not, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. And especially if there's multiple people you're running against, you can just try to pin it on the other. Yeah. So you're running A, B, and C, and you just get A and B to take each other out, and then you're free. Yeah. Strings you have to have to attach to you to, to yeah. actually accomplish that. I don't know. Does anybody know that? How many, stri how many strings would you have to have to accomplish the three level of separation? I thought it was six degrees. I don't know. I think by strings you're talking about how many campaign bribes you have to take. Yeah. Uh oh. You can't use the B word when talking about campaigns. No. And you and if and if you're a politician, you can't ever say the T word either. Treason. Tax. Oh, uh, <laughs> Not allowed. So, Dylan, can we do one thing? Can we just go around the room and say who everybody is so I know? Because I have no idea who I am. Uh, 
We have I have people that probably good. Yeah. yeah, actually, you should do the introduction. Yeah. That should have right. been towards the front of the room. We normally are, but Bill and I, you know. We just kind of decided not to. Yeah. Hello, I am Bill. I'm the coordinator and treasurer for the South Tampa meeting. Well, treasurer for all of SLUG, but and coordinator for just Bill. Tampa. Uh, about 2003, 2004 was when I first started using Linux. My hard drive crashed, and that's when Nopix got popular. <laughs> Ran yeah. that for six months before buying a new hard drive. <laughs> and that's when I knew it was something interesting. So now it's Pete's turn, and I'll take the camera. Oh, from you. well, I, I'm Pete. I, I'm a failed politician. I've <laughs> run three times, and the first time I lost, uh, actually, I was 71 votes behind a guy who had felony convictions. <laughs> so that made me feel pretty good, but I've learned a little bit. So what you're saying is if you, if you, like, you get in the news for hurting someone or killing someone, that's good publicity. Well, no, you know, actually, oh, uh, there were eight <laughs> candidates. We both lost, but he didn't lose by as much <laughs> as I lost. Oh, ah, okay. Oh, uh, yeah. So anyway, so I've been uh, dilly-dallying around with all this stuff and trying to get better and better and better. And uh, the last time, uh, well, the first time I got 1% of the vote, and the second time I got 7%. Now, you can look at that two ways. You can look at that as a multiple. If it's a multiple, then 7 times 7 is 49. I'll be in the runoffs. But if it's, a, if it's just addition, well, then I'll get, you know, like 11%. Uh, you know. uh, it's more of attribution in that case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll have to see what happens. So. Kit, do you mind introducing yourself? Um, okay, yeah, I can. Um, I've been running Linux since, oh gosh, shortly before I came, which was in December. <laughs> um, I, this laptop was, well, I won't get into the whole story, but um, the, the windows on it crashed, and this tech friend of mine could only salvage it by loading Ubuntu on it, so I'm learning Linux. Um, if I can ask a question, a couple of questions. Um, who's the best person to direct dumb questions to? <laughs> the crowd's good enough. Okay. Um, as I, as I was watching all this, now uh, let me let me tell you, I've had a class in JavaScript and I've had a class in PHP, um, and I recognize the syntax. And so, what came to my head as you're talking about this is my instructor jumped, drummed into my head that JavaScript and Java are not the same thing. But I'm recognizing the, the syntax. So what I'm wanting to know is, what is the relationship between Java and JavaScript and, and C and is they're the syntax C, just a they're common both thing? C style that languages. So C style languages means curly brackets and a couple other common math elements. Kind of like elephants and elephant seals. Do they have about the same level of code? Well, yeah, I mean, JavaScript <laughs> is really just Internet's Pearl. <laughs> Coming from a Pearl guy, so you gotta take that for granted. It was a marketing yeah. idea. Yeah. It was yeah. originally called LiveScript, but anyway, the syntax, there is common elements with the syntax in that. And then you, know, you start looking at like Ruby and Python, then it starts being a bit divergent. Because Ruby looks more like Pascal, which uses words like end and <laughs> things to terminate stuff. <coughs> I probably just, if there's any Ruby people here, I probably just defended them by comparing their language to Pascal. <laughs> mm. Are there any other questions? or? Um, somebody mentioned, um, well, GoDaddy, yes, yeah, but he also <laughs> mentioned a good um, web host, and, and I would love to take recommendations from people of who they think are good web hosts because I'm, I'm with one and one, and I know they're not great. Postgator, I, I love it. Dream host. Okay. Yeah, I host Monster. Monster. Postgator's been a, a wonderful source of uh, web hosting for shared hosting. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't go for de dedicated or virtual private with them, but uh, for shared hosting. And they're, they're kind of local, too, so. I know they have the same thing about DreamHost. They have Florida and Shared Host. Well, they have Florida and Shared Host. They have Florida and Shared Host. They started in Florida. I like. Well, I like DreamHost yep. because I'm also part of another nonprofit group, and they offer free hosting for a full nonprofit. Who's that? Yeah. DreamHost. Yeah, DreamHost. Dream if you have a full nonprofit, it's free. Yeah. So I'm part of a boxer rescue group. Plus, they have a dogs, and they have a nice job switching up program that even the even the nonprofits can get in on. So if you get if you get in on that. Uh, your friends can get a discount. Cool. You can give their referral codes out. Okay. Do you want to go? Sure. <laughs> um, my name is Naomi, and I'm here by accident. They brought me. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done any coding, but it's really interesting just to see the language and get familiar with it. I didn't even know what Linux was until today. Um, that's it. 
I don't have any. Do you want to go upstairs and read? <laughs> 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 no. So, Dylan, you want to go next? Hi. Um, hi, my name is Dylan Hardison. I've been a member of SLUG since, like, I don't know, very long time. 2004? 2003. 2003. Um, I'm wearing a shirt that says 2006 on it because I went to Software Freedom Day and then, which is a very long time ago now. I'm the president of the whole group, and I run a meeting in Pinellas Side, which has been going on for about almost three years now, about three years? About three years now. Um, the meeting that it actually replaced had been going on longer, but I had to start it up. I mostly talk about programming language stuff. I'm basically the programming language geek of the group, and uh, that's it. <laughs> Stop aiming the camera at me. You forgot the benevolent dictator for I'm life. Also, apparently, a benevolent dictator. I'm actually not. What will happen is at some point I will get tired, like Paul Foster did. I will go onto the list. And they'll say, I don't want to do this. I'm anymore. done. And, and I'm done. done. And then someone else, probably Robin Miller, will go, Law will now be in charge. Because that's basically what happened. Well, not no, Scott. He was like, well, I was Scott. Going. No, he yeah. voted against me. Scott actually voted against me jokingly. What are you talking about? When I became president. When I was that's elected. Fun. So Robin oh, yeah, Miller, the president. What, me and happen? one other person who did it? <laughs> what did it happen that Robin decided? Robin Miller? Yeah. Robin Miller just said, Dylan should do it. He's been doing so much stuff anyway. He's a, uh, he actually said some, some, something funnier than that, but that's basically the gist of it. Because ever since I've been in Slug, I've been overly talkative, um, <laughs> overly loudmouth, and opinionated. Over, overly active. And apparently that's what you guys wanted as a Well, that's apparently what two people thought you wanted as a leader, and that's how our democracy works. <laughs> yeah, the, that, that the, meeting meeting two people the, 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 meeting, the meeting where we decided this, he was the last to show up, so. <laughs> yeah. Are you still not driving? I do not drive. You I don't ever intend anymore, on. But yes. I never, don't ever intend on doing so. Einstein never drove either. No. So, Kratz, you want to go? Yeah. He can say I've been coming to these meetings for what, like six years now? Long time. Six or seven? Yeah, about uh, like 2006, really. Yeah, somewhere around there. Started out using Ubuntu back then. You know, jumped from distro to distro, and I'm running Arch now. Yeah. <laughs> somewhere in the back of my head. Yeah, head. well, you know, I. <laughs> are we going to be YouTube superstars when this Oh, is man. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are going to get so, go viral, please? so many Not hits. <laughs> well, we want to know. Wait, wait. The only way we're going to go viral is if we do the Harlem Shake. So everybody up. <laughs> yeah, I see that this morning on the Today Show. The uh, only thing we can hope for is that the audio is working. Otherwise, it would be very amusing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, then we can dub it with whatever we want. <laughs> next. Who's next? Uh, I'm Sean. I've only been coming here about six months or so. Uh, I've been using Linux since about 1999. And uh, I currently work on uh, embedded routers and various bits of embedded hardware that run Linux. Wow, awesome. I'm next? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, my name is Cliff Roach, and I actually work in these facilities. <laughs> Everyone give so, thanks think for so. the meeting place. Yay. Very gracious, and there's many other people to meet here all the time, so it's not a big deal. <clears throat> and then some people who work here all night, and I've been here all night before, too. Um, and this is my son, and I've been in Linux about the same amount of time. I worked with Unix a long time ago, so I was a little bit familiar with Linux, which is kind of nice. I used to... Uh, do CAD here, support CAD. That's my main role. Um, and that's where I first learned how to do CAD was on uh, Unix workstation. So actually, I take that back. I learned on a BAX workstation. <coughs> and then we went to Linux, or Unix. And then to DOS, and I hated it. <coughs> um, <laughs> because the command line in, in so Unix is so much better. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Anyway, I've been doing uh, Linux for about six years, not as in depth as my son, uh, more on the software side. I've been playing with Blender, uh, Scribus, um, a little bit of, um, what's the other, GIMP, a little bit of that, and some other applications. I've been playing around a little bit with uh, some financial software that's in Linux, so it's my, my game, I guess you might say. I guess at this point we'll just wrap around. 
Well, somebody could turn the lights on back there and help. <laughs> <Big> <laughs> Keep going. Let there be light. All right, who's next? I'm Ashley. I'm not really much of a computer person. <laughs> I'm tag along with him. Um, I use Linux because it's the only operating in the house because of him. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when someone brings a portable device into your home, do you make them? He's not that bad, <laughs> oh, but it's all of our stuff. Shut it down. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'm John. I started using uh, Debian in like 1995, and now I use Linux Mint on every computer in the house. <laughs> and um, yeah, if I was going to flatter myself, I would say I'm an independent game developer, but really I'm just kind of a hobbyist. So I guess maybe when I make some money, I can say that. So, yeah. Bye. <laughs> Uh, my name is Dave Lowe. I'm Love's prodigal son. First meeting I've been to in about six years, maybe a little longer. Last meeting I went to was at HCC, and we all went to Bennigan, so I don't know. Oh, that was a long time ago. It's been a while, so you guys have engaged that. I've been using Linux since about 1996 or 7, somewhere along, I think Red Hat 4 was my first distro. I have swapped around from different things. I've settled pretty much on a, a steady Debian diet. Um, right now I use Ubuntu and rip out what I don't want rather than putting Ubuntu on and building it. Uh, I dabble in just about everything. One of my favorite things to do with Linux is to make media centers around my house using XBMC plus various other software to grab stuff as it's aired and bring it in with a personal video recorder thing and I'd be happy to give a talk about that if we don't <laughs> mind talking about semi-legal software. <laughs> I have no Not on the meeting that's recorded. <laughs> Uh, some of my downloads are on the gray side of legal. So, uh, as far as wins, <laughs> like it's TV shows that just you know got aired and stuck up on Usenet. Yeah, that's me. Yes, I still use Usenet. It's still one of the best ways. I know, right? Next. Um, I, I'm Brad. I like Linux. Uh, I've recently failed at installing Gen two. Um, We've all. Epic website. <laughs> 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 um, epic, it's not epic unless it resulted in fire. <laughs> all right, all right. So it's just a regular Gen 2. We, yeah, we, we've been there. Oh, and then, uh, that, that's, that's about it for me today. <laughs> I uh, want to get a WRT 54G version 4 router because some of the other versions. Are, are neutered. They've only got you know half as much RAM and <coughs> processing power as they should have, and so they don't allow for you to install some of the third-party softwares. So that's right, next goal. Right, my, my I don't know about this yet. Oh, just wait. Oh. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> um, Richard Wilk. I started computers in '68 uh, with Unisys on mainframes. I've been uh, working mostly in hardware and technical support, not programming or development, like a lot of these guys are brilliant. And uh, messed stuff around with Linux starting in 92. And uh, I started a company here, our main goal is to try to educate the general public in what is Linux and why should they care. And the company's here to give them to understand that you will save a lot of money and run more efficiently if you start migrating over to it. Hi, I'm Sam. Uh, I'm Slug's uh, expansion director. I've been so for the last few months. Um, basically started programming when I was about six years old, playing around on uh, old IBM uh, XT, uh, overclocked it to 16 megahertz, and thought that I'd never kill more than five gigs, of five megs in my life. Um, I started using Linux uh, probably around uh, about 97. Uh, played with Red Hat until I got sick of it. And then after I got out of the military, I started playing with Gentoo. That was basically my first Linux system I enjoyed. Um, currently, uh, contract slash um, freelance programmer. 
and uh, yeah, I have fun playing with Linux and writing software. Love the hat, by the way. Thank you. Started using Linux. Uh, we well started actually using that um, Ubuntu right around version five. Um, didn't get hardcore into it until about two years ago when I had a heart attack. Asked about working as a restaurant manager, um, high-end restaurant manager, to buy something else to do. And then I said, okay, I can do this. <laughs> so let me try this out. Two years later, I'm um, actually having a blast. Um, we're doing. We're working on restaurant point of sale systems. I pick, pick um, break them up, tear them apart, break them on purpose, fix them, um, mess with my clients. It's a blast. Um, we run uh, uh, Fedora 4 and 8 on these point of sales. So it's kind of like that. But, um, 408? 4 or 8. 4 or 8, yeah. yeah. And, and which is one of the versions that someone here started out. <laughs> and, um, I'm trying to put it on scent. It is taking me a little bit longer. Um, I started using, um, I use my Ubuntu and I catch a lot of heat for it because it's basically it's all neutered, it's you know, dumbed down for the users, so on and so forth, blah, blah, blah. If it works, use it. I use it for my music, I use it for my movies, um, Blender is for my graffiti, um, Gem for my graffiti, so I, I do everything on my computer first before I put it up on a wall, and I mean, you did so. One of the one of the only things that I'm real passionate about is Linux. Um, I just turned a 76 year old um, computer user onto Linux, and he's had a blast with it. You know, so I do I, I do love it. Hey, my name is Scott Grizzard. I am a uh, let's see. I learned how to program on a. You remember QBasic? Yeah, that. Um, <laughs> that little game where the guy jumped up and down and was <laughs> no, Q Basic was the little basic operating thing that came with the DOS. The monkeys throwing the bananas. Throwing, yeah, the monkeys throwing the bananas. First piece of code I wrote was making that banana explode bigger. Um, so, yeah. Um, I got into Linux um, in graduate school. I was getting my master's in econ. Uh, mostly for doing servers for IT. Um, yeah, I do a book my system. I mostly use it on the server now. Um, and the I used to do, because um, I've got a master's in econ, so I do a, a lot of you know, analysis, database analysis in R. And then I, I you know, I, I write a little PHP to display what the results are from R. Um, so R is what I know. Um,